Spring migration is on. Wild bison are migrating to their traditional calving grounds and unfortunately it means that they're having to cross Highway 191 and, and other highly used roads in the area. So Buffalo Field Campaign is out day and night, literally uh, placing signs like this up on the road to warn motorists of Buffalo on or near the highway. And as you can see, we have a group of mostly pregnant females that's uh, kind of taking their time, getting where they're going. Um, daytime isn't as bad. Nighttime tends to be a really dangerous time for wild buffalo because they're really hard to see and there's a lot of speeding that happens through this stretch of highway. The Montana Department of Transportation has always been extremely helpful. Um, they've put up giant marquee signs flashing bison on the road, 55, in key locations as people are entering the Hebgen Basin here. Um, as well as other permanent signs that, that let people know that there are bison on the road and to please slow down. And our signs actually offer an extra, more unique, um, they serve a more unique role because they're only up when there are literally buffalo on or near the road. So if you are traveling through the Hebgen Basin and you see any of these hot pink signs, there are bison on the road. Um, generally, you should be considering that they're going to be around any time of year. But uh, right now, we got, like I said, spring migration is on and hundreds of bison are moving through this corridor in the Hebgen Basin trying to get to a safe place to have their babies. And, you know, we've been a presence out here for many, many years trying to warn motorists of bison on the highway. And as a result of that, um, we're kind of looked to as the Buffalo crossing guards. We have strong support from the sheriff's office and from the local community that really looks looks to our efforts um, in keeping the highway safe for travelers and Buffalo. Um, and also because of the nighttime dangers with bison uh, and talking with the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office we've been allowed to begin to use uh, slow paddles which we've never really used before but sometimes motorists are just in such a big hurry that they don't even see certain signs and unfortunately we lost four buffalo within one week with our signs up um, so now we've added to that uh, arsenal of, of warning signs and we've got flashing lights on our stop slow paddles. We've got people out there with glow in the glow in the dark wands. Our efforts out here on the road are also for the people that are traveling through here, whether locals or visitors to Yellowstone National Park or Gallatin National Forest. Um, so no, we're not only trying to help wild bison, but we're also trying to help the people that are traveling through this area. And the life that you save by slowing down may be your own. In addition to all of the things that we are doing that the Department of Transportation is helping us with, there's more that still needs to be done. And there are fine examples in Canada and in northwestern Montana of wildlife safe passage, um, which are bridges and or tunnels that help wildlife get across busy highways without ever having to step foot on the asphalt. So that's a big part of where our efforts are going to be going. I mean, we'll be out here day and night as always um, and in the meantime we're going to be pressing for safe passage and and hopefully that will come to pass